guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Can Opener by KitchenAid. Let's have a look. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the very first video on my YouTube channel, my first upload. Uh, hopefully, of many more to come. I'd like to thank you for joining me. I know there's an infinite amount of things you could be doing right now, whether it's Netflixing and chilling, uh, watching other YouTube videos, going out outside. Uh, yeah, so I truly appreciate you being here. And yeah, a uh, quick little backstory on this. Uh, just, I work in a kitchen, I needed a can opener because ours suck. Every time you, you, you open a can, you have to crank it like probably over a hundred times and my wrists were getting sore and in, in a kitchen, like a, a, you know, industrial kitchen, you work with the big cans, not just your little spaghetti-o cans. So yeah, we opened quite a bit of cans and I just wanted to get a can opener as soon as I could to, uh, try it out. I know I could have went on Amazon and got the Easy Does It one. I know that's probably the best choice, but I needed something fast and quick and it's here now. Maybe in the future I'll get the Easy Does It and we'll go over that. So without any more chit chat, we'll dive down, take a look at it in full detail and come back up and I'll tell you what I think. Stick around. All right, here we are up close with the can opener by KitchenAid. Just have a look around the packaging. Let's uh, zoom out a bit. So we got can opener, high carbon stainless steel blade, oversized knob. In the back here. Um, one thing that was a little concerning is they package it like this. I don't know if that's the best idea if they could have gone a different route, but that blade is just hanging out. And it doesn't feel very sharp, but it's kind of weird that they purposely wanted the blade sticking out. I'm, I'm assuming there must be some reason behind that. It's just, uh, I don't, it was just, uh, it was a little, it's different, I guess. I don't know, maybe, I, I'm not, I haven't bought too many can openers in my life, so maybe that's how they come. They just want you to see how sharp the blade is. Uh, some warnings here, no immersing water. When your hassle free replacement. You can pause that if you want to read that. And then, yeah, I got this from Winners, comparable at $13, which is around the price of the Easy Does It one. So, we'll see how they stack up. So, let's break into this bad boy. So here, your oversized knob, sounds good. Um, warning sticker, hand wash only, dry immediately. Uh, I personally like to keep my knives on my, uh, anything with a blade on it. I'd never run it through the dish machine. Um, I, I'll find out the science why, I don't know exactly. I just, that's the way I've always been trained and it just, I've never had any problems. Uh, maybe because they don't dry right away, they could collect rust. Uh, yeah, so feels pretty like cheap plastic. Feels hollow. Uh, the knob also feels very cheap plastic, and if you can see that, it is definitely hollow inside. Um, stainless steel. Feels very lightweight, and 
I would want my cat owner to have some girth, but we'll see how it holds up. We'll see how it does. Um, so a lot of fingerprints all over it. So let's see how it does with a can. That's an empty can. It might work better with a full can, but I just want to see. Uh, too long I will update in the future maybe a week a month a year I don't expect it lasting that long but we'll see uh, yeah I think it will be good for people in just household kitchens just your average kitchen or if you work in an industrial kitchen but don't have too many cans open I don't see it being too much of an issue there uh, yeah it seems like it's decent it's just not industrial strength that I'm looking for but would I buy this again? Probably not. In the future, I'll do some due diligence, go online, grab a Easy Does It, try that out. Maybe I'll make a video again. Uh, if you guys know of any other can openers that are around the $10 to $15 price range and are easily accessible, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you liked it a lot, then give it a sub. And that's all I got for today. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again. Bye.